Hi, how are you all? I am JD Hardesty. Nice to meet you all. This is my first video that I'm going to be uploading for YouTube, and I have great news for all of you who do not know yet. Mac OS Lion is now available. That's right. Mac OS Lion is now available. For only $29.99, you can download it right off their app store. So for all your Mac users, you're probably wondering, hey, this is the first I've heard of it. I'm going to go do it right now. But you're probably wondering, what's it going to look like? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you in my first tutorial as to what Mac OS Line is going to look for you. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, I've, if you case you haven't noticed, I'm actually doing this off my iPod video recorder. So it might seem a little small and the pictures might be a little bit out of seek, but, you know, I'll do the best I can. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to go right over to my app store and it's going to immediately open. And look at that, there it is, OX Lion. We've been waiting so long and they've been delaying it so much, it's finally worth it. So, it's saying right here that we're just going to click the Download Today button. And there it is, OX Lion, for $29.99. So, I could basically go into the detail as to what this uh, page gives you for everything, but if you saw the video on uh, the Apple website and saw all the... Uh, introductions as to what was going to be offered online then you probably don't need to listen to that so what we're going to do is we're going to click the $29.99 I have some oh, forget that I'm we're going to click the $29.99 and here it is it says buy app so this is what we're going to do I am going to click it now as you can see here it's going to give you the um, sign in screen so you're going to need to sign into your ID in order to make this work. So, now that I've taken care of that, I'm going to sign in. And there it is. Right here, folks. Okay, we've had a few minutes go by and it seems that considering the fact that this is going to be a 3.49 gigabyte download, it sounds to me like this is going to probably take some time in order for it to download. Depending on what your ISP uh, service provider allows you to um, download for whatever speeds that you can, um, it could take from any range of, I would say, at least 30 minutes to possibly two hours, depending on what kind of speed you have available with your internet service provider. As for me, I have Optimum Online, so hopefully it shouldn't take too long. And as you can see right here, there it is. Now, it doesn't look like anything has happened yet, but like I said before, this is gonna be over close to a 3.5 gigabyte download. So I'm gonna start the next video when we get close to having it be downloaded, and we'll get you through the next step. There is one thing that I forgot to mention to all of you users who are gonna have Mac OS Lion. For those who have really looked at the App Store, which in some cases I have it, um, there is a way to let you know as to how far it's progressing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Purchased uh, tab right here. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, correction. I'm just going to be clicking on the Updates. No. <laughs> you know, I just had this a second ago, and I'm just going to... Uh, I was right before. It is the Purchased and as you can see here, it lists everything that you have purchased off the App Store. Um, as you can see, I've got a bunch of items here. In case any of you are interested, you might want to consider taking a look at them, see if they're really going to work well for you. I personally would recommend Caffeine, uh, FaceTime, of course, Menu Weather, Space Control. Uh, those are ones that I think are really going to work well for you. I mean, Yellow Pages would also be well, so you don't have to look for your book around your home. I mean, sure, it's got to be hidden somewhere, but, you know, saves you some hassle. Now, as you can see right here on top, we have the OS line, the purchase date, which is today, July 20th, 2011. And as you can see here, it's already getting almost down to a gigabyte already. And as you can see here, it's counting down. So it's got about, well, about 35, 36 minutes at its current rate. So I will be making the next video when we're ready to start. Hello, once again, we are back, and as you can see here, the download is almost complete. We are at 3.71 out of 3.74 gigabytes. 
personally, I seem to have a good connection, and that's why it's not taking so long. It's taking me about, oh, 30, 35, no more than 40 minutes uh, for this whole ordeal. But as you can see right here, um, this download is about to complete. There it is. 3.74 of 3.74. Now, my guess is, is that the final six minutes that's left on here is to probably install it. And, as, well, actually, it looks like that's not going to be the case here. As we can take a look down here, this is ready to go. And as you can see here, our Mac OS Lion window has arrived. So, let's click the Continue button. And as you can see here, just like with Leopard, with, um, with all the other previous um, systems, you have to go through the same thing when it comes to installing this uh, software. So as you can see here, I have read and agree the terms. Basically, everyone pretty much does this. We're going to agree. And as you can see here, it's going to give you um, the option of installing it onto your hard drive. So you just want to click install here. And of course here, you got to enter your, um, if you have it set up for your entering your password so that way installs can take place. You just want to do that. And then click OK. And as you can see here, it's going to install it. And then it will restart it automatically. And it looks like the system is ready to install. So what's going to happen is if I click the restart button, it will restart or it will do it in 20 seconds. So I'm going to click the restart button. And all other applications must be closed before you install. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this here. I'm going to make sure I don't have anything else open. So let's try this again. I'm going to click restart. And as we can see here, the system has reset itself, or should I say, restarted itself. And there we go. Now my system's going to restart. Probably get the little jingle. And there is that little jingle we all know so well. Now, in case you haven't noticed, um, in between um, uh, recordings, I did clean up the screen a little bit so that hopefully it looks a little bit more brighter and more presentable for you. So for those of you who didn't really see it so well, I do apologize for that. After all, this is my first video. Sometimes there's going to be a screw up here or there. <laughs> But any event, it is currently loading right now, and uh, we're just going to wait and see and see what's going to happen. Oh, there's our arrow in the top left corner, and there's that screen we all know so well, the install screen. And this is probably going to be installing the OS X Lion onto um, our Macintosh hard drive. And as we can see here, it looks like it's going to take a little bit more time for us to have this be completely installed. It looks like it'll be approximately 30 to 35 minutes. So we will get back to you and we'll show you what the next step will be as soon as this is done. There we go. The installation is complete. As you can see, the install has succeeded. Mac OS X was installed onto your Macintosh HT disk. So as you can see here, the computer is automatically going to restart since I didn't click the restart button. And we'll get that jingle once more. And there is the jingle once more. So now this is probably going to go through the first steps of the Mac OS X Lion welcome screen. Just as almost as we've gone through the Leopard We've gone through the Panther, and this again is in no sequential order. Uh, we've gone through Panther, we've gone through Snow Leopard, we've gone through Leopard. All of these are pretty much going to be running through the same concept, more or less. So we're going to uh, have those uh, doubts be answered, or whatever questions you might have will hopefully also be answered as well. Huh, and speak of the devil, there's the arrow in the top left-hand corner. And I think we're about to hit that screen. Uh, 
Well, everything's certainly getting a little bit different. Getting a little darker, a little grayer in the center. Just going to move the mouse around, see if that's going to get something going here. And there we are. Well, I guess I was wrong. We don't have a welcome screen to go through, or unless I'm, you know, jumping the gun here a little bit. But it seems as if we've got our Mac OS X Lion uh, desktop, a brand new one for that matter. I'm just going to see if I can increase the brightness a little bit here. Yep. That's more like it. Well, looks like we've got something brand new here. It says scrolling in Lion. To continue, scroll to the bottom of the text and click start using Mac OS Lion. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Okay, this is for menu weather. It's going to ask me to use my current location and I'm going to say yes. In Mac OS X... Okay, this is the same thing here. So, this basically wants me to scroll down which I just did using Lion and as you can see here just by following what's going on in here on the um, on the setup assistant you just scroll down with a flick of your two fingers right within the um, the text area and as you can see here it allows you to scroll up and down just like that so now it's asking me to hit the start using Mac OS X Lion which is what I'm gonna do And as you can see, all my apps have come right onto the left side, including the new ones that they were talking about. Uh, we have Launchpad, we've got Mission Control, the App Store is all here, including all my other apps that I have listed on my, uh, on my dock. And it looks to me like that is it. That this is everything that this install process had to offer and as you can see here my name my username that is that I have set up is right here and as you can see here it has a login window user and group references everything that pretty much was brought that Apple had described is located now on this system so this pretty much completes this install process hey how are you everyone this now completes our tutorial in regards to installing Mac OS X Lion onto your Mac system, whether by notebook or whether by desktop. Now, I have to say, for the way that it was designed to just download it and then have it be installed, I have to say this was a lot better than previous installations, whether by Panther, Leopard, or Snow Leopard put together, because you have to buy the discs, and then, of course, you got to hang on to them in case there's a problem, and you got to reboot and everything else. So, personally, I think that this is actually a lot better. So, hopefully, if they're ever going to create a new system, whether it's um, anything past the line or anything along those lines, you know, that they continue to do this because, personally, they got my vote in regards to how this installed beautifully, perfectly, and without any problems whatsoever. So, I hope everyone enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any comments, feel free to post them on my YouTube page. In any event, I thank everyone for watching this tutorial and be seeing you.